How's it going everybody? My name is Swanee and welcome back to another video. Guys, today I'll be reacting to Season 2 Episode 7 of Vinland Saga Iron Fist k -Teal. It's not a good sign because you guys know Iron Fist or to, to come down with an Iron Fist means to deal with something in like a very strict way. You know, we've only known k to be a good guy so far, although there was one piece of dialogue in the last episode that, you know, kind of made me second guess or question myself a little bit on my opinion of him. We saw him talk to his dad, which is Gramps, and kind of said, hey, don't forget, like, don't overstep. These are my slaves. And it's like, ooh, okay, all right. Well, like, maybe he's not as good of a guy as we've been led on to believe. It kind of now makes me perceive it as I'm out in the fields helping because I only want my lance to grow faster, grow more, you know, so an extra pair of hands is necessary. You know, so he's only helping out in a selfish way, whereas I was kind of looking at it as, oh, he's helping the others do their work where it's really, you know, it's for his own gain. Obviously, indentured servitude is for, you know, the master's personal gain. And of course, he's going to buy it back from them. So it's like, it's all for himself, which, you know, I understood from the beginning, but it almost kind of came off as like, a, I'm going to help you do this, whereas I'm going to help me help you help me do this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so with the title like Iron Fist Kato, we may see more of a strict and more brutally honest master. But yeah, the last episode was great. We got to see a lot more of Anar and Thorfinn. They're doing great work. I mean, they've uprooted a lot of trees. They were able to plow using the plow and we see them spreading seeds. So their field is coming together, uh, all thanks to Gramps, who we got a lot more insight into. Uh, we got to see his views on his son and his method. The Gramps was spitting some knowledge and wisdom and Thorfinn's really kind of soaking it up and Anar kind of makes the point that he's an overgrown baby and I really broke it down in the last outro discussion so if you want to hear more of that then it'll be in the last video but basically Thorfinn's entire purpose and all the energy and time in his life has been on revenge on Ashlad and as a byproduct of that not in learning philosophy and not learning you know the value of life so it makes perfect sense as to why he's been depressed and you know he's experiencing a lot of things for the first time so <laughs> for Anar to make a comparison to him being an overgrown baby is very true true but because he hasn't seen anything or witnessed anything and you know he's experiencing a lot for the first time so it's really wholesome and really nice and i'm just glad thorfinn's you know starting to really kind of take it in but yeah guys as far as my notes go that's all i have over the last episode so with all that being said without further ado let's jump right into iron fist ktl i'm hoping i'm hoping he's not an absolute savage because that would be a little bit disappointing i'm not gonna lie So what, someone come and steal some shit? What's up, Arnade? It's been a while. Yeah, I, d I do feel like the old master has taken a liking to Thorfinn and Anor. Yeah, but I, I feel like he wouldn't let anyone do that, you know? That's also true, yeah. He is paying them back. Yeah. And Arnade's smart. Yeah, that's what I was saying last episode. Like, they're good people, and he just overheard them talking, and he felt for them. <laughs> Come on, Aner. Bro, again, she's risen you up more than you risen her. Come on. Nice, Thorfinn. Way to read the room, buddy. It's like, alright, I'm gonna let y'all do your thing. I'm gonna head out. Yes, he is. My man. See? Thorfinn's wingman number one. Say something nice back, Anar. My man is selling. <laughs> It really does make us feel like, bruh. What a bitch. Nah. You did not just smack my girl like that. You're lucky Anar didn't see that. <laughs> bitch. Nah, bro, that shit actually got me so heated. <laughs> what are they looking at? It's so wholesome. Oh, the the seeds. The plants. Wow. Wow. This is the first thing that Thorfinn's growing. 
That's so crazy to think about. Man, Thorfinn really hasn't lived at all. Bro, the goatees make them look so much older. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I mean, shows that you care. I mean, it definitely seems like she's getting treated differently. Nice. <laughs> Bro, his hair being up too makes him look completely different. Wow. They said Yahweh. <laughs> it's wholesome. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I think I just realized why it's going to be Iron Fist K2. I think word is going to get to him that someone was stealing, and he's just going to have to, I guess, lay it down harder. I guess take away some privileges. I don't know. Sorry, I missed that. I was thinking. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, he does, he does look very similar to him, so. So this is another son. True. Wow. Yeah, Canute is very different. Yeah, massive IQ. But I feel like, well, I guess the battlefield did do that to Canute. It was more so like an enlightenment, right? Oh, they did it? Yes, we just has a hunch. He doesn't even know for sure. I mean, the kid looks guilty, but... I mean, the girl doesn't look guilty, though. Kind of makes it me think that he just stole for her, right? Or stole for them. But yeah, but Keito doesn't even seem like he wants to do anything. Wow. They kill each other because... Wow, that's actually crazy. Man, Omar's just not cut out for it, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's quite the necklace. Necklace full of ears. You say it's jerky? Yeah, that's really gross. <laughs> It's just the nickname. Oh! Damn! I I was not expecting that. Wow! So like like um troll of Yom, right? For uh, Thor's. Wow! Iron Fist Kato was his name back when he was on the battlefield. That's crazy. Oh, so, okay, so he is a good guy. The Iron Fist was just his old name. Yeah. Okay, then I take back what I said in the... Oh, they're probably stealing for her. Yeah. Oh, they don't got a dad. Aw, oh, damn. Damn. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 
Or maybe he just ran away because he couldn't pay back. Yeah. Aww. Oh, dude, that's so crazy. Iron Fist k is... I mean, I, we knew he was a good guy, but... <laughs> it's a good question. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, Keito doesn't want to do it. Okay, Snake's got a heart. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that. It's crazy how this guy came from K2. I feel like there's a good way to go about this. Oh, yeah. Peter the goat. He's been clutching up lately. <laughs> yeah, Kate Teal's a good guy. I take back what I said in the intro discussion. The title of this episode fooled me. I mean, I, I suppose I mean, that's the next best option than taking out their arms or killing them. I'm not sure it'll also be good enough to get Thorgal off of his back. Bro, that's crazy. Well, Keitil owns this farm. Like, he's the master, so how come... How come he's just like, no, like, they'll do what I say. Why do they get a say on what the punishment can be? I mean, I understand people won't take them seriously if they don't get punished, but like, I mean, they're, they're just kids, man. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's just a better way going about this. No way. Nah, okay, so you can't let this fly, man. Like, I understand where they're coming from, but still, I don't... <sighs> wow. Yeah, no, nah, this guy should not be allowed to hit anybody. Oh my god. Oh! Bro, that should count for like five fucking hits. Bro, he, there's no way he could stand 20 of those. Oh. Bro, this sucks. God, that's so unfortunate. Bro, he's probably crying. He probably feels so bad. Wow. I was about to say, to be that hard to go from... Wow. This is some real shit. <sighs> Poor kid, man. Wow. Yeah, Keitel's a good guy.
Who is that? Is that... Is that Arnade? Looks like her. Oh, are they sleeping together? Is that Arnade? No, my boy Anars. Yeah, well, no, she's the master's assistant, right? Oh, uh, assistant. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, damn. I don't know, man. That kind of makes me think about Arnade's words to Anar. Like, is she just being nice? Kind of like how she's just being nice to Master Katil? I don't think so, right? Like, she's showing emotion to Anar, and we didn't really see any emotion towards Katil here. I think it's just, just because she's the assistant, and, like, just one of those things where, like, on the totem pole during this time, and obviously Katil, I don't know if Katil loves her, but Katil definitely, I mean, tells her everything, and, you know, slept with her, I think. I mean, he's shirtless in, in the bed with her, so, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think they slept together, um, which just kind of sucks, because... It's going to put Anar in a little bit of a tough spot. Yeah, I mean, up until now, Ktil's seemed like such a good guy. Seeing the title, Iron Fist Ktil, had me a little bit worried. And once Snake pulled up with the two kids that were thieves, I thought Ktil was going to, you know, flip out, get strict, kind of like lay down the law on everybody because, you know, someone had stolen from him. And I was like, oh, okay, he's going to have to lay down the Iron Fist. But it was actually a nickname that he had gotten when he was in war, but it was actually just a bluff nickname, you know, but he's actually just a good guy. And then Arnade, if that is Arnade, said, you know, it's okay, you know, it's okay to be nice, it's okay to be a good person. But uh, yeah, Thorgal is horrifying. One hit from Thorgal has to count for like five to 10. I mean, that's just not fair. Yeah, sucks that it had to come down to that. Honestly, Pater clutched up with the fact that he prevented the kid's arms from being cut off, but the beating thing, and the way that the camera kind of panned in over him too was a bit odd. I don't know if that was because Pater wanted that to happen or if it was because he knew that there had to be some kind of punishment or else all of the slaves would be like, oh, that means we can get away with stealing and not be punished. I wish Katil would have been like, all right, you two come inside with me and I'll like punish them or I'll discipline them or whatever. And then he just sits them down and be like, all right, listen, I'm not going to do anything, but just like, you know, just don't do that again and don't let this get out that I didn't do anything. Like he's the master of the land. He owns this farm. Like, he should be able to do that. Or he should be able to be like, you know what? Like, this time, one off, these are just kids. Like, I, I understand that they stole. But, like, these are just kids, right? So we can let them off. Like, he should be able to, like... If anything, he needs to get a backbone. He needs to be able to tell them, like, no. Like, you know, listen, these are just kids. This was a one off. Like, they, they know it's wrong now. Like, I'll even discipline them. You know, we'll show them the ropes. Like, they're going to serve us. Like, that was the agreement, too. Like, they're just kids, so their punishment would be to work under us. Like, I like that should just be how it is. There, towards the beginning of the episode, we saw Arnade rising up Anar a little bit. And again, he just can't. <laughs> but my boy's got no game. Uh, but Wingman Thorfinn knew exactly what to do. He was being considerate. He was like, all right, I'm going to leave you guys alone. I'm going to head inside. Y'all do your thing. Um, yeah, he definitely knows. Man, what a guy. Even though Thorfinn could be a little bit of an overgrown baby, he knows how to handle the situation. He was like... All right, I'm gonna give you all your space and uh, I'm gonna head out and he did I definitely had the wrong idea about the title. I thought he was gonna you know get strict, but uh, wow, I mean We knew KTL was a good guy. You know, we saw him in the fields with everyone I didn't know if that was out of selfish intent or you know out of actually caring But I think the fact that he would make everyone an indentured servant and not a slave should have been proof enough that You know, he at least cares enough or at least cares for people damn was that Arnade though? I mean it sure as hell looked like Arnade and I don't know why they would introduce a new character that looks just like her this late um, so I'm sure that was Arnade. Man, I really don't know how you'd break that news to Anar. That's uh, that's a heavy hitter. It's like, oh, yeah, sleeping with the master. But again, I'm not exactly sure if that's, like, because she wants to. I mean, and again, I don't even know if they really slept together. I mean, she had a nightgown on, but he was shirtless in her bed. I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just putting two and two together. Shirtless guy in her bed. He's got his head on her lap. She's wearing a nightgown. I mean, I don't really, you know, I don't know if that's exactly bold to assume, but uh, that's going to be a tough pill to swallow for Anar. But yeah, Thorgal is definitely horrifying. I mean, k hit that on the head. Snake, I feel like Snake is just doing his job. He's just there. He's like, yo, I found these, you know, kids who are thieves. Punish them, do whatever. But, you know, I mean, the kid's dad isn't there. You know, the grandma or grandpa is sick. I mean, he's just stealing for the family. I mean, I understand. Like, that's always my first instinct is why. Like, why would they steal? They're kids, right? Kids know that stealing is wrong. So if a kid is willing to steal and even willing to risk it, and especially in this time, willing to risk the punishment, then why? Like, why would they do that? 
And KTL knows too, like he, he has that same thought process, which is why he didn't even want to punish them at all. But if you're the master of the land, you should at least have a backbone enough to be like, yo, come, go inside, I'll discipline you myself. Go in and be like, listen, you know, I'm not gonna do anything, just fucking don't do that again, you know, and at least make it seem like I disciplined you, like walk out really sad, right? Like obviously don't walk out cheering because I let you off, but you know, walk out and you know, play it cool, right? That's so fucked and the kid is so battered too, like he's so beaten. I mean, this episode was just not a fun one. I gotta admit. Oh, when uh, Arnade got slapped, bro, I was I was cheesing for Anar, and I was you know getting hyped for Thorfinn being wingman number one, and you know I was in a good mood after that, and then and that old hag just backhanded Arnade got me real mad. That shit had me fuming, dude. I ah uh, wow, uh, yeah, that had me speechless uncalled for saying some slick shit too not a surprise here an enslaved woman with an enslaved man ah y'all great fit for each other fuck you that's what i gotta say about that <laughs> oh dude what a fucking what a drag of an episode but you know what i think it's a good reality check you know these were not like super happy times right this episode had some real shit even ktl's speech there at the end about you know being weak and like you know what makes a strong man in these times and and Vinland Saga does that too, man. We get reality checked. It just sucks that it had to happen. <laughs> I hate getting reality checked in anime, bro. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot. These are shitty times with shitty people. Because in most of these episodes, at the end of the day, we forget that, you know, these aren't happy times. So it's just one of those episodes, man. Shit, I was, uh, I, w I was definitely in pain for most of that episode. It was a good one, nonetheless. Um... I do enjoy a good reality check. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, that's all the notes I have over this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. I've got the full reaction on Patreon. I also have a Discord. Both of those links will be in the description below. All right, everybody. I hope you all all have a good one. <sighs> Man. Um, wow. Not exactly looking forward to that conversation with Anar. <laughs> oh, God.